These are wild berry pop tarts. Okay, wild berry pop tarts, yeah. okay. And now I'm just gonna actually dump some strawberry pie filling right on top. Oh, okay. There you go. You wanna just cover all of the pop tarts. Right? The pop tarts are like the crust of this. Yes, all this right. is gonna be a dump cake. It's like a wild berry crust. And you've got all of your beautiful strawberries. And you know what's great about this? This gives you a full serving of fruit. This is actually kind of a healthy dish. So it's not that guilty of a uh, treat because you've got these you got beautiful the, uh, pop tart crust, you got the well, strawberries. You're, with top. the strawberries, you're getting all the antioxidants. Okay. So that's the best part. But now it's about to get a little crazy. We're going to take some of our cake mix. This is fun, fetty strawberry cake mix, and it's going to get dumped right on top. You're just dumping it on. Right on top. Not mixing it in. Nope, don't mix it. If you mix it, you're gonna ruin it. You don't want to mix it. You've got one whole box of cake mix. Doesn't that smell good? It is very, it smells so good. very fruity. There you go. Using the whole box. And now I'm just gonna use my fingers to spread it over the top evenly. It's funfetti strawberry mm -hmm. cupcake mix. Wow. All I right. can't wait to try this. Kids are gonna love this one. This is uh, this is definitely one for the kids as well. I'm gonna love it. <laughs> this is one everybody's gonna love. Okay, so we've got our dry cake mix. Now I need you to grab me some butter. Butter, oh, that's in the fridge. Butter right there, all right. Butter right here, great. Beautiful, now you're gonna take a stick and a half of butter and I've already sliced it up nice and thin. You see that? Okay. Really thin pieces. And you're gonna cover the entire top layer with your thin slices of butter. And whenever you put this in the oven, your butter's gonna melt and it's gonna mix with our dry cake mix to form our top layer. And that is what makes this cake so special. Oh. It is technically called a dump cake. I'm from the South, I'm from Mississippi originally. They're very popular there. Tell me where you're from in the comments, guys. I read all the comments. I love to hear from you. I wanna know where you're from. And I also want to know what you think about this recipe. Tell me if you think this is a good idea. Tell me if you think it's a bad idea and I should never cook again. <laughs> Tell me if you're having fun with our recipes. I love to hear from you no matter what you're saying. That one broke a little uh -oh. bit. Is it going to wreck the recipe now? Nope, we're just going to keep going. Okay. So, it, and then when you're slicing your butter, it really makes a difference if you do it whenever it's nice and cool right out of the fridge. All right. There you go. One more thing to make this extra pretty, some right. sprinkles. These are just gonna go right on top. Oh, this Look at how pretty so this is. Good. It's gonna be really interesting to see how the sprinkles turn out too. Yeah. After it bakes. I'm gonna get it nice and covered. Look how pretty this cake is. And you've got your antioxidants from the strawberries. So that cancels out some of the bad stuff, right? All right. There we go, All into right. the oven. How exciting. Now, while that is baking, I've got another trick to show you with some cake mix. You're gonna love this. Now we're gonna use some lemon cake mix, our leftover strawberry. There's just a little bit of strawberry left over in the can. And we're gonna bake that in our waffle iron. Okay. If you didn't know that you could do that, you're about to find out. This is just a way to make an individual size cake. That's what's really nice. You don't have to heat up the oven. This is just a nice trick that you can do. Prepare the cake mix. Just like the box says, you add okay. your oil and egg and everything. You want to definitely use some pan spray oh, because it's... you don't want it to stick. Okay. Cover that. And I've already mixed up the uh, cake mix because I don't want to waste anybody's time. We're going to make this move fast. And this is going to go right on top. Now, I always overfill this. You so, do. So let's guide me on this. Did you guys know that you could make cake in the waffle iron like this? Okay, so there's a little bit of lemon. Did you know that lemon and strawberry is like a dis just the delicious uh, combination? Hmm, no, I, I've never tried lemon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our strawberry, a little bit left, and it's gonna go right in the middle. Okay. So, it's like go. a big yellow and red blob in the middle. Yeah, but it's a delicious yellow and red blob. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to actually take some more of the lemon. Okay. And it's going to go on top. Okay. 
Don't put too much, otherwise you end this up is, This is the part that I always get a little worried about. All right. There you go. I think I'm doing good, right? Yeah, I think so. Try to cover it just a little bit so it doesn't okay, the, squish uh, out. Am, okay. I, am I on the line I, of too much now? Yeah, I think you should stop right about okay. there. That's and I've got some sprinkles because why not? Sprinkles make everything Finish off those better. sprinkles there, yes. This will be fun. All right. So All this right. is a little stuffed lemon berry cake. And just for good measure, I'm going to spray right on top of that just so it doesn't stick. Okay. Okay? All Here right. we go. Here we go. We've got it set on uh, high. Mm. How exciting. Okay. I think I didn't overfill it this time. Uh, <gasps> Wait. Maybe. Spoke too soon. No, I'll just film from this oh, side. Oh, look. Why do you do it every time? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. But it's still gonna be yummy, even if it go look at look who look who smells yes. what we got going. I'm sorry, buddy, I don't have any treats for you. Our dog just showed up. All right, now the great thing about these waffle iron cakes, uh, aside from that, okay. is the fact that they cook wow. really fast. This is gonna be done in just a matter. Of oh my god, what is going on with you? Okay, we're gonna try it again. Just cut and pick it up again. Ready? All right, I'm not gonna cut. You what are, you, what are you doing? There. I'm getting rid of the evidence. You're just making a bigger mess. <laughs> there, that fixed it, right? Yeah. That fixed it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's, just, need... let's just focus on getting the waffle maker thing going. Okay, let me get a plate. Because this one's about done. Right. You see that steam coming out? Yes. That means it's time for Smells a good. taste test. And if you haven't tried lemon and berry together, you're missing out. Okay. I know lemon blueberry is very popular, but lemon and strawberry is even better. Trust okay. me on this. Okay, guys. Is it good this or not? This is better than I thought it was really? going to be. You say that a lot. And sometimes yeah, but, it's not I, true. but I surprise myself sometimes. Because okay. I, I, listen, is I know. Is it done already? It's done already. Pink? Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it on the plate. It's done already, but I, uh, I'm i not a professional by any means. We know this, but I do like to try different experiments, and uh, this is one that you are going to be pleased with. Okay, okay. so let me, I'm gonna kind of get rid of the uh, the excess here. Is that even cooked all the way? Is, yeah. What is this? It is. You tasting it already? Yeah, it's good actually. Isn't it? I mm -hmm. told you. If you guys didn't know that you could cook um, cake in the waffle iron, it's such a great little trick. All right, well, I'm we'll... just trimming the excess so it looks pretty because you know, okay. presentation is half of it. Okay, All here right. we go. Let's plate this one up. And I'm gonna show you how okay. good it turned out. You ready for this, guys? Yes, exciting. Regular box cake, put some strawberry filling in it, start burn yourself, put some sprinkles on top, and boom. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That actually looks good. I know, it smells delicious. Are you going to be able to pull it out or yep, is it going to yep. all crumble apart? I think, uh, I think i got to get around here so I can okay. get a good underneath it. Look, it's nice and fluffy. Yeah, it smells good. This it's is just a little bit there. tricky getting it out. I think I'm going to just flip it. Okay. We're going to just do a flip. From the waffle maker. From the flip. waffle maker. Right. Okay, ready for this? This will be entertaining. Don't burn yourself. Yeah. Boom. Uh-oh. This turned out so good. Oh my gosh, it smells good too. You smell that? It smells delicious. Look at that. Look at those berries. This is so good. It's beautiful, all these colors. I'm gonna cut a slice and we're gonna do a taste test. Hold that for all me. All right. All right, let's see. Which side, should I get that one right sure. there? Do I need a knife? Probably not. Yeah, I'll get one just to see. Okay, so we're gonna cut it just like that. And you can see the butter melted with the dry cake mix and forms like a, almost like a, a crust on top. It's like a cobbler more than anything, I guess. And you've got your pop tarts on the bottom layer. Uh huh. And then you've got your your berries. We've got strawberry pie filling. And then topped that with our strawberry cake mix. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that. See, it's not. Look at the steam coming off. Look at that. That looks delicious. All right. Time for the taste test. That's our, our pop tart pie crust. All right, here we go. I hope it doesn't burn my mouth. So easy, so quick, and delicious. That is a winning recipe. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Your Oreo cookies. These are a limited edition pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. It's wow. pumpkin spice season, y'all. Now we're going to take some cream cheese frosting. You're going to notice that it is nice 
and runny and that's because I put this in the microwave. Just put it in there for just a little bit and then it's gonna give you a nice creamy cream cheese frosting. Now it's time for some pumpkin, pure pumpkin. You notice that this is actually no sugar added. This is the healthy stuff. We're just gonna dump that on. Pumpkin pie, all right. Man, that smells so good. You know what another great thing about pumpkin is? Is that it's really good for you. It's loaded with fiber. It's loaded with uh, vitamin A. So, if you're an optimist like me, one of your servings of vegetables, right? Yes, exactly. Pumpkins. Now, that just determines what your definition of healthy is. I don't think that it's diet food, uh -huh. but is it healthy? Yes. Uh -huh. There is definitely no question <laughs> that pumpkin is healthy. With some pumpkin pie spice, all Wait. kinds of good seasonings, all spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger. There's a lot of great stuff in there. This is the most fun ingredient of What's all. What's that? This is our spice cake Super mix. Super moist, by the way. Yes. Did you know that spice cake mix is a great combination with pumpkin? So you're just putting that on without mixing it. Yep. I know what I'm doing. You got to trust me on this. You just dump it right on. The okay. whole box goes right on there. That's crazy. And then you're just going to use your hands. Don't worry. I washed my hands. You're going to use your hands to just spread it out, covering the top layer there. It looks fun, actually. It has. It feels like I'm playing in a sandbox. It really is fun. But I think we need one other thing, and that is in the fridge. Okay. Butter, please. Butter. Oh, I can butter out the fridge. Yeah, butter, so. please. Butter is in the fridge. Here we go. Butter. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Now, this is sliced thin. You're going to use a stick and a half of butter total. Okay. And we're going to take our squares of butter and they go lined right across the top. And something magical happens when this goes into the oven. Uh -huh. This butter will melt and it will cover the top of our dry cake mix. You do not want to mix it. People look at me like I'm crazy, but this is definitely the way you want to do this. Okay. Because it's going to form a nice top layer, almost like a, a cobbler of really? sorts. So it's pumpkin spice Oreo, huh? Yep, these are the special limited edition pumpkin spice. Tell me in the comments, are y'all fans of pumpkin spice as well? Do you love this time of year because then you get all the yummy pumpkin recipes? Yes. If so, let me know in the comments. If you have any recommendations for pumpkin recipes that you'd like me to try, go ahead. I would love to hear it. But there's one ingredient that I forgot that you guys reminded me of in our last pumpkin recipe, and that is nuts. You said that I need to put some nuts. So we're gonna add some chopped pecans right over the top of this, directly on top. Really? Mm -hmm. This okay. is gonna be so yummy. Is that enough? All right, that's it. It goes in the oven. We've got our Oreos on the bottom. We've got our cream cheese. This is gonna bake for about 35 to 45 minutes. And then we're gonna cut a nice slice and show you all the layers. This house is gonna smell yummy. Doesn't the house smell good? It does smell good. This is our pumpkin spice Oreos dump in the cake. Look at those that. Those are those uh, pumpkin spice Oreos. You gotta check that out. And then we had a layer of, what else do we have? We had pumpkin, we yes. had cream cheese frosting, Oreos, and the top layer is this beautiful oh. spice cake mix and of course some chopped pecans. But it's not done yet. We're gonna pour some more of that cream cheese icing. And then we're gonna cut it open. Right, right? over the top. Whoa, do I need more? Look at that, that, that is beautiful. And that's just cream cheese icing, put it in the microwave. And now I've gotta cut a slice because I can't wait for yes, this. Yes, all right. I'm gonna get this one over here on the corner. All right, so your top layer should be a little bit crisp, almost like a cobbler. And that's exactly uh -huh. what you want. Oh yeah, there we go. This is gonna be a little bit gooey, so get ready. Here all right, I'm ready. All right, let's have a bite. Oh gosh, look at all those layers. Look at how good that looks. I'm so excited to try this. Wow, okay, it smells good, doesn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. but the proof is in the taste. How does it taste? I need one more bite to tell. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm-hmm. You have to try this, this yeah, is so it's good. It's great. 